Welcome to Geometry Masterclass. In this video, we have a circle and inscribe equilateral triangle ABC. The chord BD intersects the side AC, dividing it into two segments with the lengths 2 and 3. The task is to find the length of the chord CD. First, let's prove that the triangles ABE and CDE are similar. The angles BEA and CED are congruent according to vertical angles theorem. And the angles BAC and BDC lie on the same arc BC. Therefore, according to inscribed angle theorem, these two angles are also congruent. In the triangles ABE and CED, there are two congruent angles. So we have proved that these two triangles are similar. Similar triangles theorem states that the ratio of corresponding sides of the triangles are the same. The segment AB over segment CD is equal to segment BE over segment CE. We know that the segment AB is equal to 5, the segment CE is equal to 2. In order to find the length of the segment CD in this equation, we have to obtain the length of the segment BE. Let's draw an altitude from the vertex B to the side AC and label this point F. In the triangle ABF, the segment BF is equal segment AB times sine 60 degrees equal 5 square root 3 divided by 2. The segment AF is equal segment AC divided by 2 is equal 2.5 and the segment FE is equal segment AE minus segment AF is equal 0.5. Here we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the segment BE. The segment BE is equal square root 19. Put in the value of the segment BE into this expression, we can finally get the length of the segment CD. The segment CD is equal segment AB times segment CE divided by segment BE, which is equal 10 divided by square root 19. So the length of the segment CD is equal 10 divided by square root 19, which is approximately 2.29. Thanks for watching. Bye.